All right. How are you doing? You all right? Um, I've come from Yorkshire. <laughs> to try and win a few over straight away. Thanks very much for having me. This is absolutely brilliant. And that is totally normal, isn't it? Having that. And what about Mark? Let's have a round of applause for him. <laughs> Buzzing. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm just going to talk to you for a bit. Is that okay? And I've got so much going on in my head. I know I'm, I could run over. But uh, I've got people around the room dotted who are going to say, no, that's enough. So, uh, but don't be, don't be doing it just yet. Don't be, don't be doing it just yet. Thanks very much. Um, it's, I am a teacher. I just want you to know that straight away. I do teach. I'm not just some bloke what's written a book and, uh, and just talks about it now. I, I do teach. Uh, my, my big thing now is I teach in primary, which has been like being hit in the face with a frying pan repeatedly. But I'm loving it. I'm a proper novice teacher there, and I love it. And also in special as well, special schools, which I might talk about a little bit later. So, here we go. Um, name, shout some film titles out. Thank you. Well done. Someone shout out the name of that one. Louder. Kurt Russell, we need. Thanks, come and get a copy of Oops down here, lad. You've got one? I knew, I knew you were all right. I can't do this all now. I've got to talk about other stuff and all. What about this? What about this? What about that? What about that? Who's that? Someone's saying loud. Who said Cloverfield? Did you just put your hand up there? Is that what you're doing? Did you say it? Did she? Oh, I'm not arguing with him. Come and get a book, man, if, if that's okay. Can we give a round of applause, please? Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you said Kez, because uh, my spiritual and professional upbringing has been in, in Barnsley in South Yorkshire, uh, which is a challenging and challenged place, as you may be aware. Um, that that iconic, iconic image there means so much to me. Um, and reminds me a lot of why I do what I do and why I teach and I hope you've got lots of reasons why you teach because if you listen to the media or perhaps you read the Daily Mail, who knows um, you think we were up to something else I'll tell you what, if the Daily Mail knew we were all here <laughs> they'd be kettling us uh, you'll, You've seen some of the films there, I'll come back to that later. If I've got a thing, my thing is digging an hole, filling it with learning, covering it in branches, when the kids walk in, they fall in. Because I teach drama. Yay! <laughs> there is a drama teacher there. <laughs> Typically, me, me. Uh, so I'd have year nine wandering in on a Wednesday afternoon going, we're not doing it. And that would be the opener. So I had to think of ways of getting them involved. First thing I decided to do was put images up on the wall. And I'd use uh, Barnsley Football Club. Whatever had happened at Oakwell the previous Saturday would be my settler. It would be the thing that we'd start talking about at the start of the lesson. And football was a good place to start. Even though um, I wasn't a season ticket holder. I told them I was. I was, you know, because we, we lie, don't we? It's okay, lie, isn't it? Yeah? Is it? Yeah, it's okay. So that's what I do. And, uh, and I try and get them hooked in and get them bothered about stuff. And getting kid, kids bothered is actually more difficult uh, than we might imagine. So if I've got a thing, that's probably what it is. Um, I haven't got a lot of time, so I'm not going to talk much about Ofsted. Politicians running education. <laughs> uh, time is an issue. But I've got energy colleagues, I've got energy. Um, we'll avoid that. And there's some children. And those children, I said, I said to those children, are you yes or are you no? And they went, yes. And I thought that was just lovely. So I said, let me take a picture of you doing that, and I'm going to try that with all teachers, with all pupils I teach. So I go into year nine and I say, are you yes or are you no? And they phone childlike. It's going to be to some bother. But those, those kids are absolutely brilliant there. There were some kids in, there in Liverpool, absolutely fantastic. Um, I've, there's some, some posters out if you want them. There's loads more at the front here if you'd like to take some with you. So put them up in your staff room. It's quite a bit of, just a bit of fun. It's not science. I'm not that brainy. I just actually sit, I sat down and thought, what sort of kids have I taught? Ever. 
in secondary. Because you don't get many emos or goths in primary, do you? <laughs> I love those emo goth kids, because you, you go up to them and you give them something to do and they'll go, well, this is interesting. <laughs> and you go, thanks very much. And then walk away. Very important you walk away. You're just meeting their sarcasm. I, I did this and I was thinking about my own schooling and I'm asking you to think, what were you like at school? And I bet you, you weren't just one of them. I bet you it depended on what, what you were doing. And it's something we need to think about that when we've got our children in front of us. They're different in different circumstances, in different lessons. A lot of my kids didn't like drama as hard as I tried. They didn't like it. And I had to think of ways of getting them hooked in and involved. You might, be, you might teach something else and it's difficult to get your kids hooked in. So what are you doing about it? Uh, I, need to, I typed in, I just typed in habits into Google Images and I got that. <laughs> what the hell, you've got to be careful, haven't you? Um, I'm glad I didn't type nuns with guns. Um, <laughs> filters. I, I put everything through a filter because when I went to watch Year Two, uh, the a brilliant teacher in Year Two, getting the kids on the carpet and saying, "Ooh, that's a lovely sitting. Can you sit like Tom? Can you show me your listening face?" <laughs> Show me up, that's a look. And I thought, how does that work with year 10? <laughs> oh, that's lovely sit sitting. <laughs> and we have to put it through our filter, don't we? And our filter is like, look at me. I like it when you look at me. That's what we do, isn't it? Banter for learning, I call it. Banter for learning. Watch out, it's going to be the next big thing. So everything I'm just going to share with you very quickly now is just put it through your filter, because I know we're, we're, represented, we're represented from all settings here tonight. And habits as well, what are our teacher habits? We've got really good habits, haven't we, around behaviour management, we've got good scripts. What are you doing? What should you be doing? Thank you. <laughs> I like you, but I don't like the way you're talking to me. <laughs> so we've got all these behaviour strategies, haven't we? Well, what are our scripts around learning? Well, let's leave you with that. I think there's questioning probably as a response to that, but we might come back to that. Um, there's an example of a settler. Just a quick chat between you. I'm proper going at a pace. If there was a fifth season in our country, what would we call it? What would it be? How would we prepare for it? What would we do with our houses? What would we wear? How would they report it on the news? What is the fifth season? Quick chat with the person sitting next to you. Thanks, that was the, all the time you're going to get. And there's one or two of you now in the hall who are thinking, oh, I've got a really good idea and I've not had a chance to explain it. That's because you've got engaged and hooked in. What is the fifth season? It's a lovely question. Year three actually just said, um, well, uh, there's no gravity. That was in Doncaster, there's no gravity. And I went, really? And this little kid next to him got really quite hot and bothered. I said, what's up? And he said, oh, I'm worried about my nana. I said, what about you, Nana? She's in a wheelchair. And he was worried about floating off. It's <laughs> okay because the rest of the group said, sorry, we'll bolt her down. Bolt her down. No problem. But they, we, in the special setting, I work with quite a few special schools now, Cruise, and um, we use these as settlers. And as the kids are walking in, there is an instant challenge. And I'm sure you've got your own version of these kinds of things. But for some of us, and some of the schools I go in, this is revelationary. You know, it's not the teacher just sitting there saying, yeah, take your coat off while I faff with the register <laughs> again. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, you've, you've, I'm sure you've done hundreds of these things, but I love that photograph. Can you see it? Quads. They've all got numbers shaved into their heads. My question to you is, is it wrong? <laughs> Jury's out, to be honest. Jury's out. Four! Four! Come here! <laughs> right, quick chat with you. Know, I didn't know the term elbow partner until I went to some conference somewhere in that London. And someone said, can you just talk to your elbow partner? And I was thinking, I've not seen that on Twitter. <laughs> Turns out it is the person what's sitting next to you. So, with the person what is sitting next to you, link those. Link those. Quick chat, chatter, chatter. You're gonna have to read them, obviously. <laughs>